Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I channel by eye surgeon. This is Dr. Audrey Tai, LASIK and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about the types of eye diseases and conditions that may need to take precautions when getting the COVID-19 vaccine. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to help me bring you more videos about eye health and eye surgery. To learn more about my practice, you can follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai. As I mentioned in my previous video of my COVID-19 vaccine experience, you may develop mild physical symptoms such as fevers, chills, and muscle aches after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Due to the activation of our immune system, that generates antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This process is called reactogenicity. In order to successfully generate antibodies against SARS-CoV-2 virus, our body has to activate our immune system as a response to the vaccine and subsequently generate effective antibodies to protect us from getting very sick when exposed to the virus in the future. Those symptoms we may get after receiving the vaccine are expected, as they are a sign of an effective response to the vaccine. One potential concern to this is that people who have certain eye diseases or have had certain eye surgeries that are susceptible to increased eye inflammation due to activation of the immune system need to take precautions and discuss with the eye doctor right away if they notice any vision changes or changes um, in their eye condition. One of those eye conditions is any history of cornea transplant. There are different types of cornea transplants done for different types of eye diseases, either full thickness or partial thickness cornea transplant. One of the risks of cornea transplant is rejection of the transplant that can occur at any time after the surgery. Typical cornea transplant rejection symptoms are vision changes, light sensitivity, eye redness, or pain. Since the mechanism of cornea transplant rejection is through increased inflammation in the eye, any significant increase of systemic inflammation through activation of the immune system can potentially trigger a cornea transplant rejection episode. Therefore, people with a history of cornea transplant need to pay close attention to any changes in their vision, eye pain, or light sensitivity after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, and discuss with their eye doctors about necessary steps to take before vaccination to prevent potential cornea transplant rejection episodes after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. As a cornea transplant surgeon, my colleagues and I have seen some cases of cornea transplant rejection after the COVID-19 vaccination. All of those cases were successfully treated when the rejection episodes were identified and diagnosed in a timely fashion. It is important to remember, studies in the past have not shown increased cornea transplant rejection with any kind of um, vaccination. However, what we're seeing now is that there seems to be an increased numbers of case reports of cornea transplant patients developing cornea transplant rejection after the COVID-19 vaccination. Could this be a coincidence? Or is there a causal relationship between the two events? The answer is that we do not know yet. There have not been any studies to date which establish a causal relationship between COVID-19 vaccination and cornea transplant rejection. And it will know more as more data becomes available. There will be more studies coming out to report and analyze those cases and to guide eye surgeons and eye doctors to identify and treat eye conditions related to COVID-19 vaccination as we learn more from our clinical experience. What is important for us to know is that if you have any history of cornea transplant, you should be in contact with your eye doctor and be aware of the symptoms of cornea transplant rejection, such as vision changes, eye pain, eye redness, and light sensitivity. 
let your eye doctor know right away if you notice any of those symptoms. It is also important to remember that concerns about potential corneal transplant rejection episodes is not a reason not to get the COVID-19 vaccine. As studies have shown that the FDA-approved COVID-19 vaccines are highly effective in preventing hospitalization or death from severe COVID-19 disease and the transmission of the disease. This video is to increase awareness that people with certain eye conditions, such as cornea transplant, should follow up with their eye doctor closely, monitor for any changes in their eye conditions after receiving the vaccine, and to detect potential problems early and start treatment accordingly. Other eye conditions that may flare up after receiving the vaccine include hepatic eye disease and uveitis, which can flare up due to increased systemic inflammation. Another important thing to remember is that COVID-19 vaccine is effective at protecting our community as a whole by building herd immunity against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. If you have any history of a corneal transplant or a history of eye inflammation in the past, it is important to follow up with your eye doctor before and after receiving the vaccine and especially if you notice any vision changes or any other changes in your eye health. I hope you find this video helpful in learning more about eye diseases and COVID-19 vaccine. Please consider liking and sharing this video and subscribe to my channel to help me bring you more videos about eye health and eye surgery. To learn more about my practice, you can follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai. Thank you very much again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.